The images you're watching now are highlights of the Double T Apache dating back three to four years. We wanted to create a short film that documented the history behind the truck and its Palomino horse logo. Over the past four years, my good friend Derek Stewart has created 9,000 miles worth of memories with his truck. And in the course of those four years, it seems like the most asked question has been, what's the double T and where's Lake in Illinois? So we hope you guys enjoy the following documentary as David, Derek, and myself travel to Lake in Illinois for answers, as well as recreating a very special picture 58 years later. Okay, so here we are following Derek. We're driving to the town of Lakin. Um, we had already met with the gentleman that sold Derek the truck, got that over with, and now we're driving to Lakin with, for our 1130 a.m. meeting with uh, the historical society in that town. I'm gonna speed up the video here. Um, there's a lot of driving that we did, so I'm gonna speed it up to the point where we're making the right-hand turn to go into Lakin. Right there, Lakin. Oh, snaps! But we ought, there ought to be a little sign or something. They ought to. Get you notes know, from the south. Oh, what is that, dude? Look! Oh, snaps! Oh, we gotta come see what's going on here. You know we got flex on these woes. What is that, dude? I don't know. But it looks like we're having a beer. So we actually were really excited because from what we understood, the town was very, very small. And the fact that we found another C10 there on bags just was a rare sight, so we had to stop and see who was uh, who owned the truck. Oh yeah, I heard it. Oh, right Hello, doggo. Are you cold? Oh, we had a cat named Tito once. Not. Oh, sorry, I'm back over here. Okay, here's a funny scene that's coming up. In my other video, um, I mentioned where Derek opened the door to the barber shop and told the guy with the white truck to come outside now. Um, see if you can hear him tell him that. So this is live. This isn't planned at all. This isn't. You know, oh, we're planning this. It came a long way. <laughs> Trucks come a long way. Okay, so you couldn't hear the part where Derek told the guy, white truck, come outside now. But I promise you, that's exactly how he said it. So at this point, we're having a conversation with the uh, with the guy that owns a white C10, and we we're just kind of telling them, you know, who we are, where we're from, why we're here, uh, the history on the truck. Um, he couldn't believe it just as much as we couldn't believe it. He's actually from the town of Lakin, which is where the Double T Ranch truck is from. Um, he was just, just like speechless. So he's part of the C10 club. The only really interaction he's had with other trucks that are bagged is just online. Um, I think the town is like seven or 800 
people population. So it's very small. Um, as you can see, David's panning around. That's just a barber shop. We're probably about a mile away from where the historical society is, uh, or, or downtown Lakin, I should say. Uh, but the guy is just, he just can't believe the whole story of what we're telling him. So at this point, you know, everything is kind of happening so fast. Uh, the kid is just overwhelmed. We're excited. Um, so when we got to O'Reilly's in the town of Chillicothe, we kind of didn't feel like the, the guy that sold Derek the truck was really excited to see the truck. Um, granted, it wasn't his style of truck, so he really didn't have that, you know, that, that emotion that we would have or that excitement. So... <laughs> This was really where the trip really started kind of picking up for us. We felt good about what we were doing. Um, we were just excited. We were trying to take it in. Um, it, it was just speechless. So um, I think the kid went back inside right now to get his phone. He was going to come out and take a few pictures. We exchanged numbers as well. So I was going to send him this movie after we were done editing it and showing you guys here at the shop party. But I'm going to fast forward to the part where we start rolling out. So what Derek's about to show me is uh, the rocker on that passenger side. Didn't realize that when we pulled up and he laid it out, there was a, a slight raise in the pavement there. And it it sounded like it made some damage, but it really didn't. It, it was fine. The truck was good. We are going over the bridge uh, over the Illinois River um, and right on the other side of this bridge is actually downtown Lakin so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but when we go into the historical society office you might see a replica that somebody made of this bridge a small uh, scale Illinois model river. I guess it don't matter So I wanted to clarify something that I had mentioned earlier about the population being about 900. It was actually 1,700 in 2017. It actually dropped down by like 900 people in 2016. So the correct population of the town is probably about 15 to 1,600 people. So here we are driving down Main Street, um, just to the right, um, actually a little bit further down, uh, kind of where that red truck is and the lady walking with the green shirt. That's where the uh, historical society office is at. Um, we're going to go down Main Street, loop back around and come back and park there uh, to meet with uh, the lady that was going to give us all the information we needed. I know. 
We were just saying, we're like, how many times does this truck maybe not go up and down this street right. in its own natural... I know. It's awesome. like, scary. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Um, I think this is the way out of town towards this house. Okay. Uh, what time is it right now? 11.15. Like, okay, so 11, we have 10. 15 minutes. Um, we want to just go over to the... Um, historical site? The historical the thing, and yeah. then we'll just kind of chill. Yeah. I grabbed a bunch of pics of the Welcome to Lake and yeah, thing, you know, 1900, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly where that is. I'll have to look it up real quick. But um, yeah, awesome. Dude, so I'm I'm pretty so much just recording, and then it's gonna be no sound, but we'll just be playing the video. That's sharp already. Sure. So it's you know it's just that, John Dale was like that that guy. He's like, what's up with the guys? Like, dude, I don't think he even realized what was he happening. looked shocked. Right, right. Like, he was a shotgun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another hot rod. What's up, man? What's up? You know. Yeah. So, cool. Um, Let's go find the historical thing and we'll okay. get, yeah, that way she, she's not waiting on us, yeah. you know, yeah. so. It's her day off, right? Yeah, she's got a quilting cool class. So. We could say, we could take it. Yeah. I'm a little cold right now. <laughs> a little cold, yeah. yeah. What are you making me? <laughs> when me and Derek started this problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> he wanted to cry, did you see him? Yeah. So something you guys won't be able to see is as we're driving back down Main Street, we're casually looking over and we're noticing that there's probably a handful of older people there. Uh, and they look at the truck and they, they recognize it and they do it like a double take. And, and they're what we think is they recognize this truck from many, many years ago, probably driving up and down Main Street. So at this point going forward, um, you're going to hear a lot of the story about the truck, about the family. Um, just listen very carefully and you're going to be surprised the history that the truck and the owner actually have with this town. Hi, How's it going? Nice to meet you. Sorry, doing a little video. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Anyway, um, JS, his name is John Strong Thompson. Yeah. So he's okay. one of the relatives. And did you drive out? Uh, not yet. Uh, okay. We were running late on, a little bit behind schedule. We're going to head out that way after we're done here. Okay. So, okay. Yep. Um, you may be able to pull in that driveway. It's for sale. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. Pull and it was oh, for oh, sale. We'll pull in the driveway anyway. Yeah, see, I I grew up here, and I grew up like Caddy Corner through. Um, there's a great big White House you're going to see on the way out. It's on the right hand directly, side, directly. Yeah, the right hand side. It's directly across from the water tower. Okay. And his stepmother lived there. Okay. Okay, and she lived in one bedroom. Her name was Fanny Thompson. Okay. And um, 
I could see her bedroom window from my bedroom window. Oh, neat. So, neat. and that was, the light was on all the time. Excellent. So, but anyway, um, there was a garage there that was behind it, and you could kind of turn down Ida Avenue, that's where I lived, and then make another left mm -hmm. up would be 4th Street. And you'll see a great big, huge yellow um, building, and it's painted the color to match the house to the left. And that was actually the Thompson Garage. Okay. And the guy that owned the um, lumber company bought it from them, and he made it for him. Okay. So these other people had to build another garage out there. Okay. And um, I don't even know where to start. When we were kids, and we would go out there to the, about where the garage is, there the garage, and it, there's like a new, whole new um, like subdivision there. And we would walk on this concrete and we would jump down, and it was probably about that far. We would walk through the pasture and go over to see J.S. Catherine. And she raised German Shepherds. Oh wow! Okay, so yeah, so you get to play with the puppies all the time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. but anyway, um, there are homes on both sides of that because. Um, Here in the next few seconds, you're going to hear someone come in. Um, the individual that walks in is actually the mayor of the town. Got a big truck. I mean, you can follow us or whatever. But anyway. Um, the house has been sold several times. It's in disrepair right now, which is very unfortunate. It has a ballroom upstairs. It's JS's or his stepmom's? His step's stepmom's. Okay. 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 Um, I don't know exactly where JS lived when he grew up here. Okay. But he had that house built that, that, that he lived in. The one that's in. right on the edge of town there? Yeah, it's all where, where this was taken? Um, Possibly. Yeah, that is JS. And this is the garage, and the house is over there. Well, this is the house, and this is one of the, um, see this, right right here, this was at the edge of the pasture. Okay. So you have to see all this. You're welcome to have that if you want. Oh no, no, you can keep it. I've got, I've got extras, I've got, I've got the original. This is the main man. Hi. Oh, hi, how are you? Derek Stewart, very nice to meet you. Did nice you see the you. truck across the street? Um, no, I did. I just came out of Betsy's office. Right in here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, he's got JS's truck right across the street. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why he wanted to know. Looks who a little JS different. Was. Yeah. Yep. We we had an opportunity to come. We're we're from Dallas. Our friends and I are from Dallas. So. Oh yeah. Built the built the little. These are his two friends, and yep. he brought them up to. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, to uh, turned it into a little bit of a, found it on Craigslist. Um, down it was over in Tilla Coffee. Um, really. Four years ago, I guess it would be mm -hmm. almost four years. It was like four years November, mm -hmm. so. And uh, got it brought down, turned into a little bit of a hot rod. And we had an opportunity to come back up, so obviously we want, we're trying to, you know, a little Google, a couple phone calls with Priscilla, you know, and just mm -hmm. trying to find out a little bit of history on the truck, you know, so. I figured someone anyway, would know something. <laughs> I thought we could take him out and show him where the pasture used to be, and then the house is for sale, so maybe we could go in on 4th Street and show him. Oh, yeah. Where. I'll be darned. Um, I also now, got, where did you get that? Came with the truck. I remember that truck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's right across in front of the bank. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, I got the I original bill. Of, got the original bill of sale with the truck with JS's name on it and everything. It, it's real neat. I'll so, be darned. so you know the original owner's manual, all kinds they of neat things. Palominos. Came with. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they they, they had a horse okay. barn. Okay. And my friend and I made name tags and hung them on the doors of the in the stables. Oh, for the horses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was nice. Arabella. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, two golden palominos. I remember them being yeah. in the pasture up front. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, we just like I said we had an opportunity to anyway, come up this way and we wanted to we definitely wanted to stop in. My mother used to clean house for Catherine. I bet. At, at that house for years. Really? I told him that JS stands for John Strawn, and he was one of the first people, and that was about all that I know about what, this. So when was that? Um, that was a long time ago. About this? Mm -hmm. Well, when was when did John Strawn? When did he first get here? Uh, there's, there's how, more than one JS Thompson. That's where. Oh, yeah, okay. there's like four or five of them. Yeah, okay. that's where you got to figure. Okay. As to which, which one we're talking about. See, he know he knows all the stuff. Oh, there's there's strong family stuff galore. So, which township would that be in? 
out where Lake, we... Lake is right here, yet. Yeah. yeah, no, but the one out where the, the semi, uh, Strong Cemetery is. Oh, uh, that needs to be... Stuffy Lake, and I'm not sure how okay. far over it extends. Sorry. No, no. It's it's Lake and it's uh, Richland. Depends on depends on where the line is. Yeah. Strong Cemetery is over here, though. It's it's in Richland. That's where the dealership is, or was. Thompson, right here. Thompson, Thompson. That's where the truck was bought? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. He said the There's neon James sign's Thompson, still there. The beer neon's him. still there. Still operational? No. I see a lie but it's still, still there. there. So, wow. so we gotta make that happen. We can get the battery up and mm -hmm. put some wire. Oh, <laughs> right, we'll right. Right. <laughs> so we got J.S. Thompson stuff all over the place. You are welcome to this picture. I, I've got the original still, so I can get another one made. Oh, okay. That so would be fine. Like sure. That. Put him. Put some Nellies. I was trying to get out. Was I don't mind sacrificing Here's one. Here's James to the Thompson, at all. Mary Thompson. That, that's me. Just, oh, good tune. Just let it go. Real good tune. Okay, here's John S. Thompson right here. Okay, it's James H. Right there. Now, I don't know which one that is because there's about four of them. This one's uh, James and Mary Thompson. Son. Son. Let me see. So you think that was? I don't know. Oh, we got all kind of stuff. That one's that maybe his dad. Could be. Because that was eight, shows 1841. Yeah. So, uh, this where they went to London. Oh, wow. July 1889. They were very prominent folks here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very. I there's several folders of stuff on them back here. Hmm. Okay, here's James and Mary. Okay. So maybe the so next ring out. So, here's, yeah. I wish I could read this. Here's John I. Mm -hmm. John I was the son of um, Fanny, who was his stepmom. Okay. Well, there was Stephen Douglas Thompson. There was just so many. This is the JS that I see mostly in pictures of. I can't even find him on here. Oh, here's John right here. Might be able to see it on your better. John? Yep. Yeah. John Liu Thompson. I don't even know how to read that stupid thing. What's going on? on? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. There's JS. Okay. That's the V man. So is this this is the the JS. JS. That would have been his dad. Yep. That's where it all started. The original. This okay. is J.S.'s grandfather. Okay. Wow. He was married twice. Mm -hmm. His first wife passed away, and then he married the wife of a friend. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. her name was Kathy. Lots Kat. of Thompson. I met her really young man. Oh. What else can we tell so him? So don't forget. Thank you. Yeah. Is the year on there when that was taken? No, it was not. <laughs> Obviously, recreate. Re, um, I don't think there's anything on the back. I'm pretty sure I brought it with me. I can check. Well, he's pretty old in that picture. Yeah. Well, I mean, the truck was a '59. Well, I was gonna say so. it's, in the, it's in the '50s. I can tell by looking yep. at the side of yep. it. Yep. Yep. The truck's a '59, so um, and it was bought new, so. That might have been in, the, in his very first picture with the truck. Just bought it. Could have been. Yeah, absolutely. So, now we had long enough to get it painted anyway. Yeah. I can remember that driving around. I can too. I was first. I thought this was a garage, but this is the house, and this is one of those places where the horses came at night. 
Okay. Yep. And um, did you want to drive out by there now? Oh yeah. No, we're absolutely. We, we got all day. We've got all day to do whatever we well, want. I don't have whatever. all day. No. <laughs> well, no. 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 But I'm just saying. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever you have time for. If, okay. If, you know, in worst case, point us in the right direction, and we'll go. To, you know, we'll go get some pictures and things like that. Yeah, it's just straight up the road, not too far. Okay. Well, and I know um, Varna was where the truck was purchased, and I was talk speaking to. Jimmy Vonk, the one I purchased the truck from, we stopped uh -huh. and caught him on the way through, and he said that the the old neon sign, the old Buick sign in Varna, is still there. So we're gonna go and get some pictures. Did they tell too. you where how to get there? Yeah, kind of. Well, <laughs> you're gonna go out this yeah. road. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know we're gonna go out 17. Yeah, and then turn on 89. Okay. Is it 89 easy to find? I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah, oh, you, you gotta stop there. Okay, so. I'm sure there's like a little You'll barn of this way. Well, you're going to see a gob grain elevator, so you can't oh, okay. miss it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So you'll turn on, the, I believe it's the first block. You have to go across the go, railroad track. Yeah, go track. past the elevators and then turn. You'll go right downtown. Okay. Yeah. And downtown you kind of go around is, the elevators. It's, you just blink and you're past it. I, I, I figured we could find the sign once we got there, right? So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. it's probably maybe a block and a half off the 89. Okay. In the town there. Okay, perfect. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely wanted to go by his his old home and and maybe his stepmom's, if, you know, if, yeah, cause, if that's. Yeah, his house is right, right, just right there, so it's not far away. Before you get to that Washburn turn off. Okay, where's where are we at right now? We're we're right downtown here, aren't we? Yeah, we're just. Is that where the new gas station is at Washburn, right there at 16? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we turn around, right? We, we drove by. Yeah, even know. The new gas station is right here, 26 and 17, the KC station. Oh, is that the brand new one? The brand new one. This, oh, this so we haven't gone far enough down then. Okay. Oh no, there, there's a BP okay. station out here, and yeah. John Deere dealer, and okay, across the road is okay. Real house you're looking for. Okay. Okay. Can well, I mean, if, if, if you don't have time to go, I, I think we can find our way around a little bit. I mean, we're okay. So. Well, if, if you're, you're going to go up the back. You can get right into that parking area. See, he's standing. You'll come up a road that's now, here. Is this at his stepmom's or is that at his house? This is his house. Okay, so that's the one on the right across from the fire station and things like the um, fire hall, I think? With the one no, curving it's, driveway? It's not across from the fire station. Or, it's across from Kenyon's um, yeah, restaurant. The, yep, yep, okay, that's right. Okay, but anyway, if, if when you're down here, if you make a right on Ida, then make a left on fourth, just keep going, and it'll say private property, blah, blah, blah. Just okay. drive on in, and you can just pull your car straight up, and you'll be in exactly the same, same spot, spot where oh. this is. Yeah, we have to do that. Have to. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, so, this, so I'm calling you. Please call. Come. That's okay. <laughs> but anyway, I would think I should I'm the mayor. They, I'm the mayor. They won't bother me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I figured we get a hall pass. They'd see the truck and be like, "All right, never mind. There's no harm here." Right? There no. is um, a big garage over here, and okay. upstairs there's an apartment, and they have added. I, I went out there to peek at it one day, and they've added staircase from the bottom down. Okay. So we got a big I, lake and map out there. We can point it out. You see it even sure. clearer. Well, I mean, if you have an opportunity to go out there with us, that'd be fantastic. Um, if you don't, I what sure do completely say? understand. I can do that. He'll okay. take us. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for thank this. You for oh, yeah. Oh, you're welcome. I, I love Parkway. It's the original. Oh, yeah. It is right. Yeah, that was amazing. Some little letter down there and say, we have no tears. Hey, you're going to clear that. I'm going to walk here. Oh, okay. If you go by the front of the house, we can make a U-turn out there by the yeah. P station and come back, and then we'll go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's low, right so okay. That's, so, the, that's pretty much the last beat going out of town. Ida, okay. He's right here. So you turn right on, on Ida, left on fourth, and we we'll go right out past that. Hmm? Other house we sign our guest book. Here. Okay. So, so we'll just take this street down. Yeah. And we'll so pass it and look we'll around. Are you still there? No, I, I somebody else bought it. Vice yeah. president of the bank or something. Oh, okay. yeah, sign in here. Yeah, sign in, please. Oh, sure. How do I sign in now? <laughs> Just so where I'm from. Your name is Derek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long drive. Just Dallas or Prosper, Texas, I guess. How 
long did you get off work to come up here? Uh, we took just a couple, three days. So I'm still working. I never stopped working. I'm, I'm not working. So the truck must have driven okay up here then, right? Well, we trailered it. It was just easier. We're going, because oh. we're going all the way to Cleveland. Oh, um, right. I mean, I've, like I said, we've got eight, 9,000 miles on the truck. If you're a driver, well, it's, I mean, I, I'd, I'd, have no, yeah, I'd have no problem driving it all the way up here, but long ways. It's weather. all that's on it is 9,000 miles. Well, that I put on. Oh, okay. It, uh, the speedometer was disconnected. It showed 45,000 miles on it. So it's not the original be, motor, though. It's yeah, all, it's all aftermarket. Oh, stuff. okay. The only thing original is the body. So. This is just tops and calendars and the farm law and thing, all that sort of thing. He, yeah, he gave farm loans out and it was in the basement of that house. Really? Yeah, and that has an entrance from that parking lot. Okay. This is, like, this is a 1923 calendar from Thompson's <laughs> JS Farm Loan Company. Horses there from the um, old settlers parade right there in front of you. Here, mm -hmm. over there. Can you see GS on his horses? I don't know, Betty. Is that him? No. No, I don't see him. So, if you listen carefully in the next conversation between the mayor and Derek, the mayor actually offers Derek an actual penny. Um, out of Lake and um, Derek's so nervous, I don't think he really understood what he was trying to give him. What's that, John? That's a, that's a uh, Lake and Penny. They made their own money here for years. Really? <laughs> yes, I would love one, but no, <laughs> I can't do that. They going to the BJ Schaefer Theater. Well, we got more than one of these. It's a Lake and Penny, so is this one. What's it say, the Lake and Chartered. Oh, chartered. Yeah, Lake of Illinois. Anyway, it's one. It's one penny. That's wow. so cool. We got more than one. There's more than this one. Just like it. So cool. See, man, he's had Thompson on. This is good for trade at Craig's Tavern. <laughs> Where's that at? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's been a long week. Huh? We're ready for a crazy so hour at the moment. Yeah, they're all money. Oh, nice. Lake in Illinois. Did a lot of that. I know we got checks around here. We got some stuff that got Thompson stuff on it. Hold on. You wanted to have it put in your truck? Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to. Absolutely love to. Thank you, Lake and Penny. Thank you. There's a gentleman that's about to walk into the uh, to the building that actually recognized the truck. Hey, how's it going? The gentleman with that uh, classic uh, across the street there. Yeah. Yes, sir. You yes. got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That goes back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know the truck? Oh, well, I grew up with it here, like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. There, that resides up in Henry now, right? Uh, it's in uh, Dallas. Jokes. He came to Dallas. Oh wow! Yeah, we brought it up. So. Oh. Yep. I bought, it was in. Uh, yep. I are leaving to go up. See. There. Yep. Thompson Place. Okay. Yeah. Showing us around a little bit. The old place out here. Yep. Yeah. I see it's up for sale again. Yep. I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah, her. yeah that's gone through two or three hands. But, uh, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, oh. told me it was on the old cellar parade years <laughs> back. Wow. <laughs> so I, I saw it last. It was up in Henry. Could have been. I'm sure. It was. Okay. Um, I know the gentleman that's in uh, Chillicothe, he's owned about two years.
this is a long winding driveway that leads up to the main house um, where we're going to recreate the same picture that Derek has in his truck. From this point forward, I'm actually not going to narrate any of it. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to hear all the parties that were there kind of interact back and forth. You're going to hear some stories. So I'll just let the video play on and, and you guys just, just listen real carefully to all the detail that we were getting as well. Downstairs, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. And that great big house we just passed with the, with the old man. I, I know we're This was Pierre's son's hi. house. Hi. Okay, Did hi. Did you know him? No. Well, these was, people bought JS. That's his truck. truck. Oh, okay. Okay. So they drove here from Texas because they wanted to see who JS was. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm Priscilla Keith, and I grew up here my whole life. And okay. I, um, they called the Historical Society, and I worked here. So. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Amy Lindenbush. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Sorry to intrude. That's okay. That's okay. Um, no, I'm not originally from Lincoln. We've been living in Illinois for like 10 years. We come from Michigan. We were living hey. in Princeton. You're Me Michigan? Too. Yeah, Michigan guy. Yep. Whereabouts? I was born and raised in Lansing. Okay. Very nice. Uh, okay, Michigan State or Michigan? Michigan. Sorry. I, Lansing. I knew. I already knew the answer there, Lansing. So, yeah. Um, I, I went to Michigan Tech, though. So. Oh, okay. 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 Is that okay if we just look around? Absolutely. Okay. We won't, be, we won't we, take any. We got a picture of that truck that was taken yeah, many years ago with JS. I think it's on that oh, side of the house. Because we just, I, I just gave it to her. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I do have the big. Yeah. I do have a huge picture of it in the back. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I blew one up, but I I, I'd get you a copy of it if you want it. Yeah. You what? I can't believe they drove all the way up there. Um, yeah, that is that's that's different. I mean, that's. Oh wow. So we think that's a house. The other side. Yep. No, I don't think it is. Because, no, that's, got um, the, that's, the, that's the front. This is the window, yeah, and this is the thing that's right over there. Yeah. And that's JS. Okay, I need to go get my phone so I can take a photo of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a second. Dirty. I could make her off when we got to. Sure. Is yeah. this the front of the house? So, yeah, I was going to say, is that so? Yeah, that's the front window, I think. So it's over here, maybe, then? No, this side, I think. It's probably on this side John, over here, right? It mm -hmm. can't be on that side, because that yellow building is right back there. It's still there. So it's that other side over there. So it's over here, shooting back this way, right? Yeah. There's the old window right there, yeah. So that probably... Here's the, build, the yellow building you're looking at, right there. Okay. It's in the, in the back. That's that window? So it's right probably here. this one. So, so right here with the escalator. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we're gonna have to ask her to bring so, the keys. So, look. <laughs> look, so also, what is this? So this right here. Back That's right here. here. There's that window. The roof is covering that small window. There's the power line going back that way. And this guy? And this building this right, tree there is still is right, right there. Right there. That's the tree. Oh. That's the tree right there. Here. Yeah, and this is covering the little. Oh, there it is. <laughs> John? There it is. Look, hey, come Here's here. Here's that little building in the back. That's what, yeah. You just can't see it anymore with all the, the hit brush that screwed up. Oh, yeah, look. There it is. There it is. <laughs> awesome. Oh, my. She's like, what are all these people doing in my driveway? <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's got a little got one. Oh. I watch my grandgirls, so okay. one of them sleeping. Yeah, we figured the truck was sitting here when I took the picture. Oh my gosh. Right where your vehicle is. That's, That's funny. it. That's funny. I got a black and white museum I can make you a copy of, too. Oh my gosh, can I take a picture? My husband is in Texas on business. He would die because he loves old trucks. Yeah. 
Crocs. We're part of Texas. Where is he at? He's in Dallas. We're from Dallas. Yeah, he's in Dallas. Oh my god. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Do you think you could move your truck so I can kind of recreate that photograph? Oh, yeah. Do you mind? What truck? This. The, so this is actually. Cadillac, okay. Yeah. Just pull it up a little. Yep. I, and I'm, I would say I'll take her where she'd be like, who are you? Sweetie? Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> I'll let you move my car, though. Okay, I could do that. <laughs> You're going to probably have to move yours, too, John. Just move it up a little oh, bit. I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, I'm like. I'm, I need a baby. Wow. <laughs> Do the picture here? Yeah. Do the video? Oh yeah, look, Derek, it's not. You can't take a picture with your phone. Cause I'm just recording. I'm. Oh. I'm not doing any pictures. But you can see the little, the little building in the back. Yep. Yep. Got it. Is that your husband's man cave? I'm very much in the paranormal. I don't mess with other people's stuff, so you. it's like, yep, yep. yeah, we're very respectful. We did, however, get a, uh, get rid of a tombstone that they had here. Who's so, yeah. um, You've seen it. Whose name is that? I don't remember now. Uh, I think it was. I think it was Thompson. I think it was, but it was. The story was. Like he died, and then he got remarried, and then. Jan? Yeah. yeah. Did he get remarried? Yeah. And then maybe his, they wanted to bury him by his first wife, or maybe she didn't want the name on it. I don't know. There was some kind of a, but I know there was a tombstone here. So, like, didn't get used, basically? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. yeah. And um, I didn't want it. They used it as, like, a, a bench. Creeped me out. I was like, I never wanted it. I never liked that bench. Never liked it. And we didn't know it was a tombstone. But I never liked it, and we flipped it over to get rid of it, and it was a tombstone. I'm like, okay, but I don't think it was ever used. But people have asked me if I thought this place was haunted. I don't. I don't. I definitely well, think there's somebody living in the bar. Well, but I somebody. To... My mother-in-law used to clean the house for 20 years for Catherine. She just lives a few blocks. Really? She's, she's well, that's what I said. Nothing. <laughs> See, people have told me if anybody haunts this house, it'll be Catherine. But I don't. I don't think anybody. Well, Jas's first wife. Um, she had um, some mental issues. Yeah, no, and I heard that he like took, took care of the hedges in the front. Yeah, John. Yeah. yeah. Much they had a lot of help here. There were several yeah. people that helped. Yeah. Yeah. Look in the phone book for Don Arterbury. She can tell you anything you want to know about this place. Okay. She dusted it for years. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're trying to we're trying to sell it because my husband lives or he works in Bartonville. And so we want to try to get closer. But, oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Where's, where's Bartonville from here? How far is that? It's on the other Bartonville. side of Peoria. Peoria. Oh, okay. You're oh, thinking yeah. Bartlesville. Yeah. Bartlesville. Bartlesville. It's a hall. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit of a hall. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Can we move it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> he I, called me on the phone. I was just down there all by myself working at the historical society. He told me the whole story, and I'm going, oh, yeah, I knew Jay. I used to play out there down there. So in this, okay, tell me again now the whole thing. What now? It's he, his parents lived here, or his? We just no. bought the truck. You just bought the truck. Yeah, from from. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sold twice before. We can park the lot. Put it back on. This one we do. We have a shotgun. We built the truck today. Um, everybody has. Where's Lake in Illinois? And we're like, that's original to the truck, and that's where this picture came about. Okay. And then we started doing our research, and we finally found the place, found the city. So we just wanted to recreate that. Yeah. We, um, like I said, we've lived here for four years. We've done a lot to the house. We put a hundred thousand just renovation. Oh, really? No, it 
Yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. He's a plant manager at the coal plant in Hennepin. Or in uh, Barnville. He used to work at Hennepin. Yeah, that's where the, the corporate office is. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Coal company? He, um, he works for, um, he, the coal plant manager. So, kind of need them. Um, kind of need you like this, dude. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's a, no problem. <laughs> I'd already made the decision. I'm like, if I, the cops get called, I'm okay with that. I was like, I need to get this picture done. So. No, I would never. <laughs> well, no. I just, you don't know who lives here, right? So. Right, right. <laughs> but um, you can get the car there. You meant that truck. Right. Oh my god, my husband would he's gonna die. I mean he's just he this would be right up to Dallas. Does he go to Dallas often? Um not too often. I'd be more than happy to leave my info if you want to make some down. You have to. Absolutely. I'm about thirty miles to north of downtown. He's just a little bit east of me, so I mean we could certainly make sure that if his schedule allowed, we can have to educate bigger than I see. No, we ended up trailing it just because it was a little jinky thing originally. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've heard just a little bitty thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. This is back in the days he had servants' oh, quarters oh, and all that yeah. stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Go ahead. And I'm okay. just going to take a Thank you. 
<laughs> That's as high as she's gonna go, so. Yeah, it's okay. Picture in the picture. Oh, there you go. That's the one. Did you get it? Yeah, uh, picture in the picture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's uh, awesome. Two pictures. Two pictures. So you showed the two of them together. I think it'd be cool. Hold it straight, though. How's that now? Good? Now you're cooking. You want to get the picture and show it to your husband? Pardon? You want to get the picture and show it to your husband? Oh, I'll get Big hills though, no, or is this no. drags no. everywhere? So yeah. Well, you're gonna need a bit slow, are you? No, no, but it still it drags everywhere because oh, it just anyway, sits there. There is a force free hill there. Okay. As long as it's not a sharp one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry if nice I had. Trip. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh. Thanks again. You're very welcome. Thank Are you, you guys brothers? We are brothers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, uh, places to eat while we're here? Because we're going to probably Barna and then, I don't know if we're doubling back through. How do we get back? Because we're, they're sending maps that is through Chicago. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a long way out of the way. So, you want to come back here? What is it or is it not? Where are you going to go from there? We're going to Varna next. Yeah. So before the video ends, I want to first of all thank Derek for letting uh, David and I tag along on this important trip for him on a bucket list item. It meant a lot that he would let us be part of that, that trip with him. Um, again, thanks to David also for, for recording um, basically the whole time we spent in Lakin. Um, it was awesome to right, say the least. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, now maybe you guys will understand how much history the trek actually really has um, and why it's not just an Apache with a horse on the side. Uh, there's more to it. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, be sure to give Derek kudos on his, on his Apache on the double T that hopefully it won't leave the family. Hopefully it'll stick around for a long time.
All right, thank you. So I guess that's where all the horses would run. Okay, they kept saying two palominos, and I guess they were already here. Man, I took this one picture on Derek's phone.